Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, today's new arrival, beautiful 69 uh, Indy Pace Car RS SS 396 convertible, beautifully reproduced, and, uh, and reproduced really pretty, uh, pretty authentically. On top of it, there's a couple features about an Indy Pace Car convertible that even I didn't know, I learned along the way, that were, uh, that were quite interesting. I don't know if you know this or not, but the, all the Indy Pace Car convertibles, the ones that were at the track, had manual convertible tops. And the reason they had manual convertible tops is so that at the 50 cars that were there, in case there was a problem with the power top system, they wouldn't be able to use the car. So they wanted to make them all manual so there wouldn't be any problems, which I thought was really cool. This has a special system here for clamping it in place. And it's super easy to put down, just takes a few seconds. And then it has a great matching boot that goes on in orange. Part of the IndyCar Pace package was the uh, great looking Dover white paint, orange stripes. These stripes here is nice, they've been clear coated over also. The decals on the side, now the decals on the side, believe it or not, uh, they come right off if you want to. So they don't have to be part of the car if you don't like them. These look kind of cool on there and they weren't uh, ridiculous money to, to get them installed. Um, the orange houndstooth interior, which we'll start to look at a little bit later. Uh, standard on the pace car convertibles and I think it just kind of totally finishes the whole car up. Because you know what, the truth is, like no, uh, no modern day car today could pull off orange houndstooth, but for some reason it looks great in this car. So how about we check out the drivetrain a little bit and some of the features that uh, made it a really nice driving car and, uh, and why the, uh, the original ones were so much money. Let's take a peek under the hood for a minute. Nicely detailed here. So we have the correct exhaust manifolds on, the Mark IV big block engine, cowl induction air cleaner, nice size radiator. We have power steering, we have power disc brakes, um, and all the things that you would have gotten on the Super Sport package at that time. This also has something that you can't see, and that is an overdrive transmission. So it's a four-speed manual with a fifth gear uh, highway gear, which is really nice to have because it's geared pretty well, this car accelerates really well, and that fifth gear makes it really nice for that top-down cruise and just going to the beach or something like that. Nice steel hood, not a fiberglass reproduction. And if you want to, I personally like these, de these uh, emblems that go here, and you may not like them, but they say cowl induction hood on here, and uh, that's it. But the one thing I did want to show you before we went any farther is I wanted to show you the quality of the paint, because the quality of the paint is what we sell uh, here. You know, sometimes the paint is more beautiful than others, and this time here, again, another great paint job. Should be able to read that nice and clear and be able to see everything in that uh, that makes it very, very nice. Let's take a peek inside for a second. We talked about that orange houndstooth interior. Listen to that though for a second. By the way, these are brand new uh, door panels. Uh, we have the trim for them that goes on. I just didn't get to on them in time. I just want to get the video done. So that'll be in there. Nice, got the three spoke wheel, got the console. The shifter, I put the right shifter ball on it with the five speed to show you that it does have the overdrive transmission in it so you at least know where that is. New carpets, mats, uh, we talked about the door panels, the top is new, uh, seat covers, foam, springs, uh, headrests, seat belts, uh, all that stuff in here is new and it looks really, really nice. I do have this, I do have a few extra parts. We're finishing restoring the car and it's on its tail end of restoring. Those parts are in the trunk, but uh, how about we take a peek in the trunk and I'll show you what it looks like. This is nice. So, uh, so a couple small things like this right here, uh, splatter coated correctly, and then a coat of clear over top just in case the trunk ever does get wet. Uh, this one shouldn't, but you never know. Uh, nice here, new seals. Um, this is a nice touch too, where it's painted, wet sanded and buffed underneath. And then this is even nice too, because normally they just goop up these uh, quarter panels with mud and somebody's done a nice job making the paint proper taping off the lines properly and things like that. Got the RS taillights, uh, reverse lights down below, like it's supposed to. The exhaust looks right, it's got the right slash cut to it. It's just a really nice looking car. Great eyes, great color combination, things like that. But how about I start it for you so you can hear what it sounds like. want to get in the way of closing up this video with uh, my ugly mug in front of this car because I just think it's got great colors. I love the stripes. I love the way the stripes match the interior. 
when you go down the road, man, people love these cars because they just uh, represent, you know, a great time in the world uh, and also uh, a tumultuous time in the world. Indy Pace Car, Indianapolis is a cool place too. So uh, if you can afford a car like this, try to get it, man, because this is a cool one. It's got the manual transmission uh, with the overdrive, big block, five-speed RS package, and uh, just done nicely. So anyway, call us 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it.